<laughs> oh my fuck. Oh, Lord. Hi, baby. Good Hi. gosh. Yes. Hello, my girl. How She's are you? She's finally back, everybody. Honey, we've been jet setting, but we finally got up in this Rolls Royce. Yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> Laganja is back, baby. So happy that you are back in town. We can finally turn up. Turn up. And yeah. Lock lip. Uh, not lock lips. Lock cunts. Well, we might. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? The night is young. The night's young, baby. It's daylight still, girl. Thank God. I can't believe we're out in the daylight. I know. Oh, baby, oh, this oh. car is... There goes the setting spray. I have to ask. Have you ever gotten ready in a moving vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, girl. I always leave it up to you. First, it was the handheld mirror, which was horrifying. Horrifying. For you. <laughs> now she's like, "But look, our mirror is stable, but the car's not." So I'm like, "Great. What will you think of next?" Come on, challenge. Yeah, challenge. Um, it, yeah, it, it's a little tricky. Yeah, but it's glamorous. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling yes. very like Beyonce. Roll up the partition, please, bitch. Here we go. Roll up the partition. Feeling like, like pussy. Feeling like cunt. Feeling like Goldie Hawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I love science fiction, young. Yes. So I'm all about that. You yes. know. Now you're gonna be proud of me. I got an actual stocking cap today. Thank God. Not a shoe, little one, too, baby. A real stocking cap. I'm so proud of you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's growing up, babe. She's growing up. So besides my favorite primer I always use, I have a new one from Gucci that I really want to uh, slather all over your face. Yes, you always have a delicious primer for me. Yes. I love it. This is this new silk priming serum oh. infused with vitamins, which who knows? Okay, <laughs> vitamins. That sounds generic. So I'm going to use... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You're gonna use a beauty blender. I am. Well, you know what? I'm gonna use my green beauty blender. Okay, I've never seen that color before. What, what do you mean? Is that Laganja beauty blender? Well, you know, I had a bud give it to me, so I thought it was legit, girl. Let me feel it. I have an, oh, feel this one. Uh, oh, <laughs> soft. Wait, did someone trick you? Well, you know what? For today's <laughs> episode, baby, this is the Ganja Beauty Blender. Shout out to Beauty Blender Girl. I'm waiting for the green one today. We're gonna yes. try the We're trying your own. Blender Beauty. You know, yeah. I love those. Yes, ma'am. So let me get some of this gooch. So you dump into there first. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, now we're just gonna take a little bit of the serum. It looks a little bit like something else. Jizza, <laughs> jizza, yeah. And um, we're just gonna smear that all over our faces. Come on, moisturization. Oh, no, I'm liking this one. How about the new lipsticks, girl? Oh my god. Laganja just got hooked up with all 10 lip oh. ammunition. You know the bitch had to have all of them. All of them. <laughs> all of them. I can't wait to see um, what your favorite color is once you start playing with them all. Now, <laughs> do you remember what I first thought they were? Wait, what? Please remind me. Okay, so when you first released them, you know, I have a little bit of dyslexia. Right, like when I first released a promo. Right, like you were like teasing us, you yeah. know how you do so well. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, lip illumination. I'm living. I'm living. She's going to illuminate our lips. Like, you know, like the, the scrub is yes. illuminating. So I came over to your house and I was kikiing and I was like, Ooh. girl, I need these lip, yeah. I need these new lip yeah. illumination. And you said, Illuminati, what the? <laughs> Who the? I mean, I signed a contract with Illuminati years ago, <laughs> but my lip ammunition, uh -huh. they are, they're a little illuminating. They're very satin. It gives your lips an extra kind of like, uh. well, I'm excited for like, you know, now I can leave kiss prints on people. Yes. You know, like that was the only thing that was missing before. Like, yeah, I just really want lips are fucking I want to leave my mark sometimes. But you might want to leave your mark. And I like that. <laughs> I'm ready to fucking start foundationing my fucking mug. Well, of course you're ready to foundation while I'm still laying over one brow, but no tea. Mm -hmm. Girl, I swear I'm gonna shave these brows one day. I know I say it every time I'm with you. You inspire me. Please tell him to shave them brows. I'm I'm willing to do it for you. Girl, that look at that trucker was taking pictures of us. Need some foundation. Ooh, baby, what I had that? to get wet, honey. I what needed to get that? wet. This is the new matte setting spray from City Color Collection. Okay, more. it's a lovely three dollars. If it works, it fucking works. Okay, girl, it yes. works, and I don't feel bad about doing a you and just... Never. <laughs> like that. Ooh, yes. That. Woo. Don't get in your Woo. mouth, though. The, the trick is to... Woo. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have that the trick is to close your nostrils, lungs, and mouth, and, <laughs> and fucking pray. Well, girl, you know I'm anti-SeaWorld, so I was just trying to be fish and swim, girl. Great. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> spray this fucking foundation. Girl, I'm ready to get up in my cakey, bakey, shaky, one, two, makey. Okay, so I heard a little rumor that you were supposed to um, allegedly be on All Stars. 
Now, I cannot confirm or deny <laughs> any of these things you're speaking of, darling. You know, we sign contracts over here I, I in love the it. entertainment industry. Well, but what I, I will say is... You've been conquering the world, and it was a really great choice. And it was a wonderful choice. You know, I, I am so proud of Alyssa. It's been amazing to just, like, I host a little viewing party in North Hollywood at Club yep. Cobra, and it's been so fun to just watch my mother and my friends and cheer them on. And to be honest, you know, I, I got to choreograph the VMAs for Miley Cyrus. And, and right. And had I done the All Stars gig, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. You and know? that's such a cool moment. Like that exactly. is a, such a huge moment. And now, her. girl, I'm choreographing for Brooke Candy, so she's just moving on and upward to keeping this, you know, career as an artist, not just a drag queen alive. And I love that. I think it's really important, and it's part of your legacy. I mean, you're that's what you're a fucking amazing at. So well, you like, know, on All Stars, they lip sync for their legacy. Baby, I'm living for my legacy. Okay. Ooh, okay. I love that. Now, I think we should just dive right in there. I'm gonna be the first one to say it. Alyssa, you got fucking robbed, bitch. Robbed! Robbed. Baby, they have pulled the patch, the rug, the full kit and caboodle on her. Robbed. Like That was dirty, baby. That, no, was, that dirty. was dirty. Now, if you haven't watched uh, this season of All Stars 2, you're definitely missing out because I, I ha I'm just gonna say it out loud. It's TV gold. Oh, baby, I have to like, admit, RuPaul is a genius. He said it himself. He's a marketing genius. And baby, this season has been so juicy. It's oh, it's unreal. The peach They're, emoji con. That's just not even enough to describe how, how juicy this season has <laughs> been. Okay. They've really turned it the fuck oh, up. Oh yeah. So hardcore, and I think it's so cool because the show. It keeps growing and growing. Yeah. It really does, and I don't think it's slowing down. No, it's um, amazing. Girl, I was on the show almost four years ago, and I'm still working as a drag queen. Thanks to RuPaul and RuPaul's Drag Race. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Now, only thing I will say is, when am I going to be a judge on the show? Um, um, hi. My watch is ticking. Uh -huh. Huh. <laughs> Girl, I feel like... I don't know. That's just, yeah, you need to be a judge. I mean... I, I need you to be a judge on that show for sure. I know. The fans have voted before and it still hasn't happened. So, everyone, um, hi. Let's get on that, please. <laughs> you would slay the panel. You would be sitting there tits up. Done, bitch. Done. 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 I think it would be so fun. So, um, hi, RuPaul. If anyone's watching this, call me. <laughs> I think that what happened to Alyssa was so dirty. Oh, that was dirty, though. Like, for... Two friends just like, you know what, honey? Bye. We know you're sickening and you know you might win, so it's over. Girl. It's I, a, it's I, I just I mean, think Alyssa really deserved it. I mean, I know it's not a category, but right. wanting wanting it should be. And I'm telling you, she wanted it more than any of those girls. I mean, she's a pageant girl at heart, you know? So yeah. to her, it's not just a title, but it is this legacy. It is traveling the world with RuPaul's name and saying, like, I am, you know, the next drag superstar, all star. Yes, and so, I mean, whoever wins, you know, they're they are gonna be great. They are all all stars. Yes. It's true. It, it really is. is true. But they're, I, they're there for a reason. They are there for a reason. But I, I really wanted to see Alyssa take the crown. Obviously, she's right. my mama. Right. Exactly. And I don't, you know, I don't know a lot of these people on the show. You know, I, I know a few of them really well. Some of them not at all. So I don't really want to speak too ill will of anyone. Of course. But it's like this season. I really thought, you know, maybe Fifi would have a heart and have a moment. But you know, everyone always wants to say editing. But you did act like that. Well, here's what I have to say about that girl. As, Please. So, as somebody who had a very tumultuous time on yeah. season six, yes. you know, I came off that show and I could have totally been one of those girls to be like, I blame editing, I blame editing. But at the end of the day, I owned up to who I am yeah. and who I was. And that was an outlandish, crazy ass, iconic, don't you forget it, mama, honey, boo boo child character. And right. you know, people people loved it or hated it, but they remembered it. And you know, I think those editors have a job to do. Girl, they've got people to feed themselves. They and do. They, you they give have, they them family. You give them the footage that you give them. Yes. So you can't expect to turn around and 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 be you know upset well, about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. The first you know three episodes, there was a lot of Laganja quotes. Oh. So I kind of felt like you were there in spirit. To be well, honest. Well, girl, you know, I I definitely. I think my lingo has lived a life of its own. It has, <laughs> and I think it's so genius. And you know, this is Jeffree Star making a public announcement. I think Laganja has had the most iconic 
entrance ever. So no. put that on the fucking books. Well, baby, death drops and tum pops, and I'm your <laughs> girl. But what I really do want to say about Fifi is, regardless of editing and all that, uh -huh. nobody deserves to get that online hate that she's been getting. Something has got to be done about these people with keyboard courage. You know what I'm saying? I know, it's but just I too think, much. But as the population grows and there's more and more people on social media, it's just getting worse. Right. And everyone's always talking about anti this, anti that. Let's. T but it's not happening. And it's awful. And I think, yeah, I mean, you're on a TV show and that's that, but people act like that's really him every second of right. the day. And it was just like Adore and Michelle. Michelle got so much hate that first episode. Um, people were like, th like tweeting her death threats and crazy shit. It's a TV show. Like, everyone needs to relax. Right, and if we didn't have these dynamic cares and these villains, the TV show wouldn't be as good. Right. Just like with me, if I wasn't on there crying and doing all those extras, that wouldn't have been such a vibrant and crazy season. Right, you know? 100%. So, we have to look at it for what it is, take it as the TV show, but also remember we're all humans behind these lenses, okay? And we all... People forget that, though. They do. A lot. They a do. lot of the time, and that sucks. Well, his under eyes, though, are looking airbrushed. Well, baby, I'm... More Moist, okay. I'm fully moist now. You know, I've started doing this new thing where I do like a lot of my makeup now with the foundation wet. Yeah. So like when I do the brows, if I mess up, it's so much easier Good. to just like fix and it. And that's what's it's cool wet. about your routine is my routines changed so much throughout the years. Like I did not used to do my face like this. I would take concealer and cover my entire forehead to neck, and then just use foundation and press that motherfucker in. Is she reading me? Do you see the shade? Oh, is that what you're doing? Uh, forehead to neck. Concealer though? No. Yeah. No, but you're like the full coverage foundation. Yeah. I used to use the little concealer pots before th this was invented. Uh-huh. So don't even, yeah, don't mm -hmm. even try me hunting. <laughs> you know what I'm kind of deciding? What? I have so many crazy eyeshadows here, I might do no brows. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> You tricked me, bitch! You tricked me! No, I really don't know, like... I don't know. I've been doing a lot of no brow look on my channel. And no, I saw. It is sickening. It it's is sickening. fun. So well, poor me. me. I'm gonna go over here and try to do these brows. So okay. you have fun playing an eyeshadow. Let me. <laughs> I might. Ooh, look, you want, want to see my contour color before you start? Oh, hi, TF. Hi. Hi. Just pink and just this one bright is and peachy. The f color flush. Oh, flush. from Mr. Tom Ford, who I'm obsessed with, by the of way. Of course. Oh, aren't red lights beautiful? Oh, thank God we pulled up at the red light. For one second. Ooh, oh, no. I was nervous about these brows. Let me take a smoke break while we got the second. Ooh, ooh, I want to hit. Yes. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Go hallelujah for Puffco. They'll do the body this is right. cute. There's so many new things coming out. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. This one's awesome because it's like a ceramic inside, so it's just super clean. Oh shit, here I'm it goes. for the gods. Oh girl, here we go. <laughs> that red light was lovely. <laughs> Back into the real world. Painted for 59 fucking funerals, <laughs> Miss Ishara Kandala girl. <laughs> How do you feel about my contour? It's watermelon color. <laughs> oh my god, it's like watermelon soda ate it and turned it around and made yes. it love. I did, I did pink contour on my chin and I'm kind of loving it like fuck oh, it oh you're giving me like that 80s like vibe yep. boy George yes ma'am all right for highlighting today I'm gonna be going in with this new brand no one's ever heard of called Jeffree Star Cosmetics oh and this is in hi. shade peach goddess oh my faves and then we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills moon child and just oh. dip and dab into pink heart oh I heard you loved her I love this is my favorite highlighting combination of the season right now so we're gonna go in with a little bit of Peach Goddess and my favorite Morphe brush. Come on, M510. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my favorite highlighter, the JSC. Yes, Ooh, God. Yes. Come on, drug lord. Love her, honey. That Christmas collection had turned me. Yeah, and for all of you people that are like, what is that white cap? That is from last year's holiday. That was limited edition, because there's so many new customers now, Ganja. People are like, what is that white? And I'm like, sorry, that was a... Uh, a seasonal thing. Ooh, Nate, I've never not liked you more. <laughs> this holiday season, I will be changing the packaging again for another color. Yes! And what is it? Do we get to know? No. Of course not. <laughs> There's not just going to be five liquid lip shades this Christmas. There'll be seven. Like the seven deadly sins. The seven deadly sins. You son of a bitch. I'm really, really excited. That's amazing. The colors are definitely not the same as last year. Are but we gonna get a green? We gotta get a green, mama. 
Um, there might be a hue in there. Oh, oh how's God, the hue? This, look at this pan, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna use my other favorite product, the Beauty Killer Pal. Oh, hi. Oh, So hi. I got a lot of tweets that Miss Laganja did a little logo makeup tutorial. Oh, Which I think me? is fucking dope that you did that. I love that people are doing those. You know, I, I've gotta be really honest with you. I was so terrified, girl. Everyone's always asking me to do a makeup tutorial. Yeah, but and you finally just, did it. That's just not my gig, you know? Like, right. I. I love it because you've pushed me in that way, and yep. I mean, honestly, before you, I really did my makeup one way, like yeah. li literally. But you like got me to be creative, and I love your product so much that it's like fun now, and yeah. I really like so enjoy that's what it's all creating. About. Yeah, being inspired and trying something new, because I definitely will get stuck in doing the same type of look. Right. And then I'm like, oh, it's been nine months. I think it's time to change it up. Exactly. So it's cool to do something different. So I think I'm just gonna do something really simple today. Like I wanna just put that star power yeah. right on my lid and then just kind of, you know, keep the rest of it nude and maybe do a little bit of Courtney in the in the seam. What do you think? I love that. Yeah. Come on, pink. Yes, pink. Pink miss. Pink pussy. <laughs> All right, it's time for the highlight. And what do we oh, we have a little ice cold skin ice frost. Ice cold skin frost, yes. of course. I never love, leave the house without it. Never. I love that on you. It looks amazing. Yeah, it is my favorite, it's, girl. It's blinding. You really. can just see me from outer space. Girl, let's talk about the big D. And I ain't talking about Dallas, Texas. I'm talking about <laughs> Donald fucking Trump, girl. It's been a crazy year. Like, America is fucking insane, I think. Well, I mean, I just can't even believe that we have got a reality TV host running for president and successfully doing it. Successfully doing it, yeah. I mean, it's truly, you know, we're kind of a laughing stock. I'm not gonna lie. People over in the UK were looking at us like we were real crazy. Oh, I and can only imagine. I haven't been over there in years, but I'm actually gonna be back in the UK end of the month. Yay! And um, I hope no one reads me to filth for being an American. <laughs> well, they will, and you'll be fine, because you know, it's just who we are, and we own it, right? Yes. But do. um, but no, so I've really been trying to like take to Twitter, and you know, I released a YouTube video where I talked about Trump and all the things that he uh, is talking about doing, like yes. repealing the Marriage Act, or appointing justices, rather, that would repeal the Marriage Act, which would directly uh, affect the LGBTQA community. I mean, we were Work so hard to get the right to marry and then to have that repealed it would just be, that would be devastating it would be devastating and that's you know? so disgusting if yeah. that ever did happen and, and that's just I, one of the list of many things that, right. that he's promoting it's just and, you know human rights and look you know i'm not saying hillary is perfect either you know being a politician is very hard and uh i think being corrupt and politician they go hand in hand right but i think we have to look at the lesser of two evils and and really go out to the polls on november 8th and vote it's crazy so so, if you have a voice, fucking use it because that's what we're here for, honestly. You know? That's right. And that's just my two cents. But um, yeah, America is turning crazy. It's not that it's not crazy already. I'm just scared for our generation in general and for all the kids that are going to come up behind us. Like, it's it's scary times. No, it is. It is a really big deal. And this is a very important moment in our history because whatever happens is going to decide how these kids' futures is going to end up, exactly. you know? And I think we've, we've done so much in, in far as progression. I mean, people at such a young age now know what trans is. Yes. You know? And not only do they know what it is, but they're accepting. And that, to me, is just so huge. So to move backward or, or, or to go backward, that's, it, that's it's not, devastating. That's devastating, and I don't think that's an option. Yeah. It isn't an option, which is why we have to use our voices. And our fishy faces, mama. <laughs> and if you haven't seen Laganja's video about Donald Trump, please head over to her channel and check it out. Hashtag drag queen drags Trump. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> All right, so Nathan and you have concocted a little plan of going somewhere. And they're about to surprise me, and we're, where are we going right now? Well, you know, in typical ganja form and fashion, yep. we're going to the dispensary. <laughs> yes! Yes! Are you ready? One of my favorite places in California. So we are going to go to MedMen, which is this amazing store in WeHo, and okay. baby, when I tell you it is posh... It's posh. Oh, you're not ready. I'm, okay. It is high-end, high-quality, and just a good old high time. Amazing. I can't <laughs> wait. Okay. And then hot cheers. Uh, cheers to the JSC. Getting okay. ready for some lips. 
What are you doing today? Girl, I'm doing the prom night, taking it back, back, back again with yes. the pink. Yes, and I am doing a little Scorpio, if you will. So you know after you talked about using the lip scrub on your entire face? Uh-huh. Others have followed suit. No! <laughs> yeah, people have tried it and they're like, oh my god, it exfoliated right. my forehead like told crazy. You. I told you, girl. That's so cool. Multi-purpose. So for those of you that missed it, can you please update them on what happened last time? Because I almost died and it was really a genius idea. Well, basically, you know, one day when I was medicated, I, you know, I, I had the lip scrub and it was just so, it was so taste and lovely and it was smelling so nice that I just kind of, I just kept taking it everywhere. And bitch, by the time you knew it, I had a full face mask of your scrub. That is so genius. It was epic. <laughs> now, I had to get me another tube of it because, you know, I went through it. But as a facial scrub mask, I got to say... It worked. Uh-huh. That's amazing. All right, so I think we need a little setting spray. Makeup is done. Of course. And we got to use our favorite, Urban Decay All Nighter. Makeup setting spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make me wet, mama. Make oh. me wet. <laughs> oh, my. Bam. Sorry, I turned to the exorcist for a minute. Oh. oh. She's feeling the fantasy. Don't go chase the waterfall. Please stick to the rivers. Yeah, you actually sing. I auto tune. To. Okay, I get the auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, I think we should go get these blunts. It's ready to roll, baby. Let's go roll one up and get it. I'm ready. Alright baby. We're gonna double fist. Before we depart, it's only fitting that I think we do a little smoke sesh. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to hotbox. I mean, come on baby. We've never hotboxed the Rolls Royce before, so I think it's only fitting that you're here, bitch. <laughs> well baby, I am ready to roll up in this Royce okay. with some pre-rolls, okay? Yes ma'am, and I got the double owl. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Packed with that blue cheese sativa. <laughs> yes, sativa, come through. <laughs> Alright. Medicinal. Nothing excessive about this at all. Now, for those of <coughs> the viewers watching around the world, <coughs> I get asked a lot, <coughs> is it illegal to smoke on camera? People always want to know <coughs> that whole gig. So, can you give a little one-two, please? Well, baby, under Proposition 215 here in California, we are legal patients. So, we are legally allowed to be smoking. Oh, that's really it. That's it. It's crazy because other parts of the world try to make cannabis seem really bad. And I'm like, well, my whole thing is since, you know, I'm, I'm against alcohol. Me not that too. I, not that I'm like, I don't care if anyone else drinks, but in but my- But it's not for you. No, it's not yeah, for me. And, not it's, for me. and my family is just full of addicts. So I made the choice to never try alcohol. Um, Good for you. It's, which is Wish crazy. I had made that decision. Cause baby, I tried it and tried it and tried it. Right. And then it and tried me. It's evil. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. No. And the thing is, is like, you know, people pay to go to a bar and get drunk and then right. get psycho, assault people, act crazy or too emotional or do you, you know, people, there's so many DUIs in California. It's fucking I've unreal. got real. No. Yes. <gasps> I have got one. And what did you learn from it? Well, I learned that 80% of people who get a DUI end up repeating their behavior. And I will admit I did. After wow. I went to school, I did six months of school. I paid almost $10,000. I had a breathalyzer in my car. Wow. And I still drink and drive again. 
It's an addiction. It really it, is. It so really is. So. Luckily, I got the help that I needed, and I'm cool. I'm actually five months sober now. I did a whole year last year, fell off the wagon, but now yeah. I'm five months again. That's so, so cool. well, you know, it's just all about picking yourself back up. That's what I think. 100. percent And congratulations on your five months. Thank that you. Is unreal. Thank you. Um, you know, my father passed away from alcoholism. Mother was drunk half my childhood. So that's some real shit. And I think a lot of people get, you know, they forget that we're all real people. Right. Yes, there's hair and wigs and makeup and all this bullshit, but at the end of the day, we all have issues and family problems and personal demons, and we just gotta take it day by day. And smoke some motherfucking weed! Amen, Okay? Bitch. <laughs> Seriously, I Amen. mean, this is such a, a medicine for me, so I am so thankful that, you know, I have this. Some people have Prozac, they have Klonopins. You know, for me, I got the good old cannabis, and it works. Agreed. You know, so thank you, California, I'm, for having these these laws yes. that now, help us. And November is about to happen, so let's make it a hundred percent legal and recreational. Okay, it's um, about time. Come on. Because seriously, I get so frustrated with going to bars and getting judged. People are like, "Oh, you're not drinking." Yeah. And it's like, "Well, I'm having or a good time. They Don't make worry." It seem like, "Oh, do you have a problem?" Yeah. Like, oh, you must. You're not drinking in the club. Right. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. I get and how great weird. would it be to be able to just go and have a joint out on the patio at the club? It would be. I heaven. would love. It would be I nice. would love. <laughs> Amen. Well, I think on that note, let's take a few more hits. Yes, God. Thank you so much for coming on this crazy journey with me today. I know um, everyone at home fucking lives for you, and I personally love you. Well, I love you too, and I love all of you out there, so thanks for supporting us. Yes. And if you're not already, subscribe to Laganja's channel, Snapchat, Instagram, birth control pill prescription, <laughs> and everything will be linked in the description box below. So thank you guys so much. Bye. For watching, and we love you. Goodbye. Okay,